unions all worked up over a new bill that could get more people back to work. Hi everyone, I'm Brenda Butner, this is Bulls and Bears, and as the economy adds nearly 300,000 jobs last month, big labor taking on Republican Governor Scott Walker over private sector jobs. This Monday, he's planning to sign a law protecting private workers from being forced to join a union and pay union dues. Is that the ticket to get even more Americans working? Here they are, the Bulls and Bears this week. Gary V. Smith, Melissa Francis, Jonas Max Ferris, John Layfield, along with Emily Tish Sussman. Welcome to everybody. Okay, John, unions hate it, but should workers everywhere really love it? Uh, yes, I think they should. Uh, I mean, workers everywhere do love it. Uh, look at some of the numbers. 74% of Americans, according to Rasmussen, want to be in right-to-work states. And when you talk about workers themselves, uh, percentage point lower unemployment in right-to-work states. And a 2012 editorial in the Wall Street Journal stated that the last 10 years previous to that, that right-to-work compensation had gone up four times that of states that were not right-to-work. Uh, look at uh, Michigan when you had the right-to-work uh, implemented in about how many people dropped out of unions Americans want a choice uh, when Taft Hartley came in 1947 uh, which made union shops which means you had to be part of a union to work at a place those made those illegal union membership went from around 40 percent to what it currently is around 6.6 percent right now in private enterprise that means that 93.4 percent of businesses think that unions are inefficient and harm business I go with the majority okay Emily who do you go with Look, what these right-to-work bills do is they go to, to private companies and say it, it is now illegal for you to have all of your workers in a union. And we can see over the last couple of years, over the last couple of decades, that the decline in unions has led to a depression in wages. We know that people are going back to work. The new, the new jobs numbers this week are showing us that we are at a 5.5% unemployment. People did not think we'd even be able to get here. But wages are flat. We see that correlation there, that as there is a decline in union and union membership, the wages are not going up. Unions bargain on behalf of everyone, not just the people in their unions. Okay, Gary B, the numbers really do tell a different story, don't they? I, I'm scratching my head with all due respect to Emily. I don't understand where she's getting her numbers. In almost every metric you look at, right-to-work states are outperforming non- right to work states if you're looking at employment rates they're growing much faster than in in uh, states that don't have right to work uh, per capita income once you adjust for cost of living uh, it's much higher uh, union membership in right to work states is dropping dramatically across the board incomes are up employment is up what more could you want yeah. from a law this is benefiting workers across the board I think eventually every state will have right to work because it makes economic sense Jonas what do you think well these numbers are correct I mean these are the facts are right here but let me explain why these are the facts I mean you're creating a situation where a state is basically poaching jobs from another state imagine one state didn't have to do the Clean Air Act a lot of factories would move there because they could be dirty and they would create jobs there it doesn't mean it's great for everybody for the nation as a whole it's not as obvious the benefits of having the situation now as far as the point Emily made about the wages are yeah wages are going to go lower without unions and you're going to have more hiring in general even across the whole country because they're artificially raising wages I mean that's not a free market wage they're negotiating so it depends what you want if you're in the union do you want a higher wage and higher no. unemployment like in Europe then it's great if you don't if you want low unemployment rates and low wages then unions are bad so it really yeah. depends where you, f you fit in the pecking uh, order. Okay Melissa Jeff go after it. No that I mean that's ridiculous it's like no it, it, it's like you can't even do math if you look at the data you can see the reason why wages are lower right now is because since 2007 the only jobs we've added have been at the very high end and at the McDonald's level we've lost all the middle class jobs the manufacturing jobs where the unions were because they went overseas because of the control. I mean, you talk about unions driving up wages. No, they've driven all of those jobs out of the country. You're crazy. Emily, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, about, specifically on the middle class manufacturing jobs, the same period that we've had this many months in a row of job growth was in, in the mid 90s to early 2000s. And in that period, we lost a couple hundred thousand manufacturing jobs, as opposed to these past five years, we've actually gained a hundred 
800,000 manufacturing That's jobs. That's not true. And Since I have to say, if the math is so clear, all of the middle class jobs, if you look at the data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, were negative on job creation in that group. And this is one so of the reasons why. So if this was so clear, why didn't Scott Walker support it up until a couple of weeks ago? This is totally I don't know. I'm not oh, head head. presidential now, wait a minute. for him. Scott Walker has gone up against the unions for years now and won. And Gary B., what does that mean to Wisconsin? Well, I think now Wisconsin is going to join the other states that are seeing continued economic revival. You know, Jonas has pointed out one fact that I'd like to take issue with. Actually, in states that have right to work, personal income is growing 12 percent more than in states that don't have right to work. So maybe we're looking at a different set of facts, but I can't see ec any economic benefit to not doing it. I do agree with one point he made. As the states have right to work, people will migrate to those states. That's right. So if every state does it, we'll all be back to square one. But everyone's economic level will have risen. Jonas, respond. Again, well, the wages are, are, are better because they're moving jobs. Their companies are just saying, that's a state I can operate in okay. and not have to have all these restrictions. That is a good thing for that state and the employees in that state. But I bet there's income losses in the state where the jobs are leaving from and going to that state. So for the whole country, it's not as obvious the benefits. Yeah. Again, I think you would have lower unemployment without unions. It's the opposite of what goes on in Europe. But to the other point of all these jobs going away because of unions abroad, that is a separate issue. These jobs, you know, most auto jobs are unionized abroad. We're not losing those jobs to Germany where they, they get all kinds of unions in Japan and Germany, all those countries. And a lot of trucking jobs during union are not going abroad. They still have to truck stuff. So I don't want to, I want to separate that issue that we're yeah. losing them abroad. What you are creating is higher unemployment and a higher artificial wage with unions in America. John? Look, look, the, the facts are the facts, and you can talk about theories, you can talk about ideas, uh, you can talk about what you want personally, your ideology, but the Wall Street Journal did an editorial, I'm going to repeat this because nobody's talking about any facts here. 2012, they said the last 10 years, right-to-work states, the compensation increased four times that of not right-to-work states. Uh, I don't know how to understand how to say that uh, any more clearly. The, and the in right-to-work states, in the there states also the unemployment down. was a full percentage point lower. It, if people have the option, they're going to get out of unions. You've seen it over and over and over. I think Americans should have the choice to either get into unions or they should right. have the choice to get out of unions. That, okay. I mean, that's what the bottom line is. It is supposed to be about choice. This is an idea who's, that's totally antiquated and out of its time. Who on this panel, by the way, has been part of a union? I have. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're, you're forced to join. You're forced to pay dues. <laughs> it wasn't something that made sense to me. And I mean, I wasn't allowed to work in the workplace unless I paid this group of people that was supposedly bargaining on my behalf. I didn't even agree with what they were doing. And still, I was forced to pay them. I mean, it felt like the mafia. It felt well, like I was being yeah, shaken down. Was, uh, I, I, oh, hold on. I, I, really, is the is the Screen Actors Guild really the same situation yes. as the Teamsters? I yeah, think it's slightly. Yeah, it was to me. I was forced to. Yeah, I dropped they out of the Screen okay. Actors Guild. Yeah, I, I asked well, me about I, the Screen well, Actors well, Guild. Hold on, guys. Everybody, everybody be quiet, them. please. Okay, I want to get Emily in for a second. You know, um, union membership has plummeted over the last decade. Aren't workers voting? It has, and it has for a couple of reasons. One is when you go into states like what Scott Walker had initially done was breaking up the public se sector unions. And then in Illinois, where, you know, when there's these sort of public-private partnerships, which are a little bit less clear, they are no longer to be able to be unionized. You know, it's, it's declining for a couple of reasons, but also our economy just looks very different. So jobs are coming through in all sorts of new ways. We are not necessarily training people for them. We are okay. still living off a couple of the benefits of unions, right. like, or, like bargaining um, and health insurance. But we just, you know, we need new models across the board. Okay, uh, John, last word quickly. I dropped out of the Screen Actors Guild because I was in a TV show, and years later they tried to get my video game money for me. I, I call it extortion. <laughs> That's why people drop out of unions. I paid in for no reason. People understand that. You and Melissa are the best Brad, Brad Pitt's job's not going to China anytime soon, so I think that okay. union's not going to destroy right. the economy. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. We gotta go, guys. All right.